Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. My name is Elavaris, and welcome back to the Battle for Wesnoth, specifically the Northern Rebirth campaign. Last time, with some help from the elves right at the end, we managed to beat um, this scenario here, uh, which was originally quite difficult, um, but when we were able to hole up kind of in these western mountains, it became a lot easier. So... And we still managed to kill the leaders in good time. 16 turns to spare. So overall, I would say that went extremely well, other than the loss of our Highwayman Star Platinum, who we're going to have to rename here. Um, so we now have a new Highwayman that we are going to rename to Star Platinum. So that is our new Star Platinum. And then I believe we also... Um, uh, this one, I believe, we want to rename... Can I not rename it? Oh, I can't rename it because it's not my turn. Uh, to Nero L. Red, after one of my other subscribers that has been following along. So, uh, we're going to go on without further ado and see what happens next. <clears throat> after breaking out of their encirclement, the party continued in pursuit of the trolls. Following the bank of a river, they soon entered a valley. At the mouth of the valley, there loomed the massive Orcish fortress of Anger Angtherim the eastern flank. Oh boy. Gods of light. Look at that fortress. The castle Angtherim is even grimmer than its reputation. I was not idle in my captivity. I watched and I listened and learned. The hints I got from my guards boasting and foul jests have been confirmed by our scouts. Angtherim is the linchpin of their entire eastern flank. If we could reduce it, the defense would be near to collapse. Hey, look who is here. Where is my gold? It's Rakshas. Right here, master. Ah, very good, my loyal servant. You will be richly rewarded for this. Tell me, what news do you have on that human vermin that has so persistently evaded my clutches? We trapped him in his pitiful band of followers. By now, they will have been mashed to paste and fed to the whelps. Ha ha ha! Very good. Rakshas? What? You, you annoying, disgusting little vermin. Don't you know how to die? Foul one, the only one who will be dying here is you and whoever and who comes between us. Stand and fight. Bah! I have better things to do than stamp out your insignificant life. Generals, kill him and bring me his head. Oh, wow, this is a huge map. Blast it! The coward has fled. Erissa, your elves are good at moving quickly through the forest. Do you think they can overtake him and pin him down while we deal with this fortress? Hidel? Easily, your highness. We shall move unseen through the trees, overtake him, and put an end to his flight. Then do it. I shall stay with Talon, and, um, because he could use my assistance. Blushes slightly. Wink, wink. Raises his eyebrow. Very well, my lady. Go, elves, go. After him. Ruathian, send a message to Hamel. Tell him it's time. It's done. Very well. Forward! Victory or death. Come on, boys. Let's give it to him. All right, here we go. Big fight coming up here. We're definitely going to need to start off by going and capping a bunch of villages down here to get a lot of money and hopefully not lose a ton of money. Um, oh, they can recruit basically that entire that entire thing is one giant keep. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. That's going to be a lot of money. Huh. So where are we going to fight them? We're going to want to hold all these villages. We really don't want... Uh, I kind of want to hold them, like, here if we can, but I know it's going to be a huge struggle to, to get there in time. All right, this griffin's got to get the hell down here, quick. Need to start capping. I think we charge and try and set up around here as fast as possible. We just need to break through, set up around there, and that'll be a beautiful choke point. So we go, 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 go. Need to get our dwarves. Where's Thor? Thor we're going to get... Really, we need a lot of Dwarvish Lords at the moment. 
So Thor. Where's our high health ones? 84, 84, yeah. Charon, do we have any quick? Oil healthy, Dilkatas. Bone snapper, healthy, yep, that's good. Strong and quick, yeah, we're, we're gonna want some quick here. Wow, this is really nice. We're not losing any money yet. Okay. Um, we'll get wingless in here. And cow. And another quick. Okay, care on. And yeah, there we go. Yep, gonna be a lot of trolls. Yeah, this entire keep's just gonna be filled with them. Oh, orcs, okay. Yeah, this is going to be kind of nuts. We just really, I think, want to just set up in the mountains and try and hold this kind of mountain pass here would be ideal. It's coming into day, so it's our time to rush forward here. Okay, so Drake Warrior Backman is being renamed to Nero Elred, which I'm, I'm going to double check the spelling on that real quick. I'm gonna go to YouTube and go to videos, go to there, pause that, check the comments. Nero Elred. Yeah, perfect. Alright, name's good. Okay, so we have our Drake Blade Master, Fire Drake. Ooh, actually. We do that. Let's get our Sky Drake in here. He's going to be really nice at capping a bunch of this stuff. Drake Glider. Fire Drake. Drake Flare is awesome. Drake Burner. Drake Clasher. Drake Clasher. Just everyone who's got some XP on him. Go, go, go. Move, you stupid orcs. I'm trying to recruit here. Suit yourself, you dumb troll. Oh, aren't they the most loving, sharing bunch of orcs you've ever seen? <laughs> Little snicker, it's kind of funny. Well, if anyone wants to come out here, they're very welcome to. I have a feeling that may not go very well for them. Let's get these mages out. Yep, you up here. Go, go, go. Just really want to kind of hole up over there. Get some good defensive terrain. Lots of Dwarvish Lords to cycle between. We will probably grab a Huntsman. Let's get another Dwarvish Lord. Oh. No, no, no. If we're going to grab a Huntsman, we got to grab one. Let's grab a... Uh, let's see. Ranger, not as ideal. We kind of want a Huntsman here. Let's grab Bert. Bert, get some action in. And more Dwarvish Lords. Let's grab a Kai. Perfect. And then he'll stay here because we're going to uh, be able to recruit more guys in once we get this recruiting going. So blue is kind of advancing here. We might be able to set up here pretty quick. There's probably going to end up being a big fight in the mountains, which is not ideal, we should say. So. We really want to be fighting kind of 
down here in this kind of choke point. We'll probably set up a line where these villages are, or at least attempt to. Because we really want them to be on poorer defense than this. We want to, like, kind of pin them here. That would be really nice, because then we just have a huge choke point. And we, if we can get a dwarf, like, right here, that would be ideal for us. Because then they, they can't really get around us other than going through the water. That's fine. Black was a little bit closer. They had to recruit a bit farther out. They're coming down to get a lot of villages here. Okay, so brown... Oh, brown didn't get to recruit. There he is. That's kind of funny. All right, Sky Drake. What are your defenses? They're all going to be like 60s here. We're going to have 70s, so it'll be a bit better for us. The mountains are where the Drakes are going to want to fight for the most part. Do a Drake Burner. And it's funny because recalling Drake Burners is actually, like, the Drakes are so expensive that recalling is usually better even if they have, like, no, um, even if they have, like, no experience. Drake Clasher. Clashers have a ton of HP, which is why they're really nice. You kind of want to establish a front line. We'll get some more Burners. All right, now is the time to press forward. Thor is going to get up here. Just start killing guys over here. Okay, that wasn't ideal. Um... Very nice. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, that's unfortunate. Perfect. Perfect. We really just want to push him out here. Put you there. Town will stay here for recruitment. Good, good, good. Excellent work. Yeah, really. Send, thankfully, sending a lot of recruits down there. Just to go cap. There's so many troops, it's kind of insane. Actually, I don't think I can keep Talon back there, because when the mages die, they're going to go all the way back to Talon. See, it's interesting. Now that I look at this, I think another theoretical thing I could do is I could set up kind of like along the river here and just move like all my troops straight south to here. Give up all these villages. I would lose a ton of money, I think is the problem. is I think I really want to have like this money here. All these guys in the water, though, kind of stuck here is fantastic. Up in the mountains is not ideal, for sure. Um... 
So Drake's. This is going to be a little tough. Because we don't have that many healers. And the Drake line has not been established yet. The problem is they've got only 40% defense, so it's... Not really ideal, but I can pull some dwarves up into the mountains to help defend. I think I'm going to bring Talon up next round so that the mages have a bit... Mages can be used to better effectiveness. Drake Clashers. We're going to get some fighters. We're going to get some... We're going to get a glider. Glider. We're going to send you up. We're going to get some leadership on the line. We'll let them take that village for now, because we're not going to be able to soup it up just yet. Actually, Thor can get up there and kind of hold that northern flank. We want to push them back to these hills here. We want a really big concerted push there. I could send a drake down here to kind of help with the village capping. But I kind of want to level this guy up. Maybe I'll send one of these guys down there. I'm just going to kind of hold here for now. He could die, actually. I can't really put him there. Well, no, he can't die. It's actually fine if he gets attacked there. Okay, so Talon. Let's get a Dwarvish Fighter and then move. Yeah, this is where this is going to kind of suck a bit. But our, thankfully, our mages are going to be quite good at pushing them back originally. So you can go there. Um, let's move you here. Who's going to come down here? How about you? Excellent. I mean, a really beefy lord here to kind of hold the ridge that we've been running for. Resilient quick. Let's put you there. Excellent. Ugh, man, they just can't hit him, can they? Put you there. All right, Thor. Dwarves in the mountains here. 60% defense. Probably safe to put him here. He could get hit kind of hard. Put this healer here. You're up here, you're here, you're up here. Maybe I'm gonna just send Thor in. Let him get surrounded at least a little bit. Because I can reinforce him and break him out, most likely. There, keeping things getting capped. Let's do this. Nice. All right. That's awesome. Now, our one problem could potentially be some units circling around, but I don't know if I'm too worried about that for a while because when they do get to circling around, Um, we'll have a really good kind of force built up. Okay, you're back over here now. Poison is going to suck for sure. Oh, no. I forgot the time of day changed. That's my bad.
I don't even want to fight Thor. Purple's not really able to do much, which is good. They are making decent money right now. But thankfully, this is really slowing them down, and that's quite nice for us. Just they do heavily outnumber us at the moment. So we have between us 50 units, and they have 60, 90, like 150 around there. So they outnumber us 3 to 1, which hopefully... We can take out more than three to one, and we don't. I, I really want to try not to lose many units here. That'll be big for us if we can avoid that. Problem is, they've got such a strong concentration of units here that might be a little difficult. Okay, we're going to get some leadership on the line up here. You there. Good, good, good. Not bad at all. That's not bad. That is really unfortunate. We just need to slowly push them back. Drake flare out here with that leadership bonus. That's what we really need. Ay, ay, ay. That actually really sucks. Didn't get a single one of those. See, you can go up here. Sky Drake over here. Let's bring you guys down here. To help with the fighting off down there. I want to put him somewhere, but he can't really go anywhere just yet. Okay, so... Here we go. It is nighttime. Yeah, this is a bit of a struggle. We might actually need some people to kind of hold this. Ridge down here. Beautiful. Finally kills him. About time. Oops, that's um, that's unfortunate. He should hopefully not be able to die. Thor is here. We kind of want to save him, so I want to kind of break this push here. Who is going to be able to do that is the question. Excellent. Want to get more dwarves into the mountains. Beautiful. Bone snapper. Excellent. Not bad. You're not really doing a ton for us there right now. She's only got 50 health, so that's pretty dangerous. There 
go. Pull you up here. Healers. Here, maybe? Oh, no, you're already getting healed. So that should be fine. Healers here. Pull you up here. You're coming up here. Gonna try and hold this with our specter. See what we can do. The archers are gonna suck for the specter to deal with for sure. Statistics, what are we at? We've killed 15 and we've lost a mage flight, so we haven't lost anyone. So we've killed 15. It's a great start. And here we go. That's fine. Yeah, that kind of sucks. We shouldn't be able to kill him, though. We only have one person that can attack him, so we should be, should be okay. Good thing we got the healing. Oh, that's unfortunate. He'll be okay. That's good. Drakes are definitely going to take some heavy losses here during the night. She missed that. It's unfortunate. Nice hits. Yeah, so we've lost a few drakes, unfortunately. I'm hoping they kind of pour down this way more than up north. Because I don't really want to fight them up north for that long. Because it is very dangerous for them, unfortunately. Alright, so you need to leave. You need to go heal. Is there any healers I can put you guys next to? You can go heal there. You need to leave. Excellent. I don't want to lose Nero, like, immediately. This northern flank is going to be tough. I think we can't really do a lot of fighting with them. We're going to just kind of have to do a lot of, uh, kind of hold the line. Just fight where we can, but really just play it safe. Skydrake's not really going to be doing much up here. So we're going to pull him back. He's sitting in healing. We're just, I think, going to form a kind of defensive line. Up here. As best as we can. And hold them off. And then we'll kind of strike more in the day. He's really low. And I would like to kill him. But I don't think it's happening. I do kind of want to plug this gap a little bit though. Right here. So we have the Drake line, reinforcements at the ready. And we're just going to hold through the night. So here we go. Phase two. Oh, fudge. I forgot to move these guys. Whoops. That's my bad. Okay. That's unfortunate. You got to get back. Going to move Talon forward. Why don't you come muck this guy, Talon? He's on sand. What a monkey. Yeah, 
I'm kind of trying to keep pushing them back here. Fortunately, they're getting in the way with their fat bodies. 23 really hurts for sure here. If I get hit by that, be at 57. But it's the big smacker trolls that I really care about here. And it's kind of the mages of light I want to hold the line right along here. Oh, no. Undo. Put you there. Or actually, this is a good spot for wingless, I think. And you can be down here to also pick up stragglers. And then you guys are just kind of up holding the line. Excellent. Push forward. Yep, yeah, we just keep pressing forward one step at a time. Oof, almost. Can we finish this guy is the question. Yes, we can. Can we push forward another step? We absolutely can. Nice. Nice. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I think all our mages are going to come defend the coast. Beautiful. I want to put her in a better position. I think she's going to come and help heal the drakes. You can come down as well. These guys are going to be... I think our fugitives are going to be better at holding this area. And we'll just, we just want as many dwarves in the mountains as possible. And we're actually, I think, going to bring Charon up here to help defend the drake line. Because that'll really help kind of shore up their defenses. Nice. So our statistics. 25 and 2. Alright, well, let's see what happens on the next turn. I think that's everyone. Excellent. Good. We'll let them kind of half flank if they want, but we're making good progress here. We're kind of punching a hole in their line, and we're trying to push them back to the forest. That's the goal. The north is more lighter skirmishes at the moment. But we really want to push them back into the forest so we get the terrain advantage. And then we just want to keep a tenuous hold kind of on the southern position. He's being healed, which is nice. And if as long as they're moving northwards, that's really going to help. So many assassins. Nice. Southern flank definitely looking a bit sketchy at the moment. But with how slow it, it takes them to like kind of get across the water, I just I just need to distract them, really, is all I need. Alright, here we go. So I think this is where I'm gonna leave it for now. I said here we go, but uh, we're probably gonna end up pushing back here i don't know how long i can kind of fight down here before my troops start getting wrecked really the only thing i care about is archers archers are the only thing dangerous to the specter anything else doesn't really matter so that's what we're gonna need to try and do we're probably gonna pull back um and we're, we made some great we're punching like a solid wedge into the formation right here and we really just want to push push through on this kind of flank here 
The north is just going to slowly advance as we have the ability to. Next turn is dawn, and that's where we're going to start making some huge progress. So, yeah, we're going to see what we can do. Um, for now, though, I would like to thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys.